I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I was at a car show and I met Kevin. Kevin, your last name? Kevin Weeks. And he's out of Wisconsin. So I said, well, Kevin, we're going to video your car today. So although we don't have the most beautiful day in Illinois, we've got a beautiful car for you. What year make and model is this one? This is a 1967 Oldsmobile Toronado. Front wheel drive. Let me show you this one. All right. So if I come right over here, Kevin, stand right alongside me. And we'll show the front of that. So it's got a really unique front end to it. The hideaway headlights on the top, the word Toronado. And 66 was the first Toronado, correct? 66, that had a bar grill. 67 had the egg crate. And now you've got kind of an interesting story. We'll actually start with the hood being open. Let me show you something. First of all, let me show you the points on this one. You've got those bumper point in the center. These two massive chrome pieces on the side, I will show it to you from the side, but we'll open up the hood. And as we open up the hood, uh, get my finger. kind of this, the, the, the thing that interested in you in the car was what? What made you want to get a Toronado? Well, again, at 16, I, uh, I saw one. The kid came in with a, his grandpa's, I guess, and smoked the front tires when front-wheel <laughs> drive didn't exist. And uh, that intrigued me from way young. And then uh, as I got older, just the general engineering of the car and just the uniqueness of how they pulled this together with, uh, with high horsepower, big, big power in a front-wheel drive car. What's the cubic inch? Uh, 425 cubic inch, 385 horsepower. Now, notice this is front wheel drive. There's something interesting right off the bat. If I'm, I am dead center on this car, and you will see that air cleaner is just a little off to the left. Now, why is that? They offset it to the left, so as you come around the side of the car, Let's do that. you can see that it's a standard GM 420, 400 turbo transmission the chain drives off the back of the motor to drive forward through the transmission into the transaxle and the half shafts out. So everything is standard GM product, beefed up and uh, re-engineered. All for this car. And the chain drive, you see the casing at the back, it's a 10 chain chain drive that connects the crank to the front of the transmission. And that, boy, they tested and it's bulletproof. Wow. Super cool. Interesting, interesting car for sure. Big hood on the car. And I love the Oldsmobile Toronado right there in your face when you open it up but I would have not have noticed if Kevin didn't share with me that it's slightly off dead center so I'm really glad that we got the chance to now that air cleaner that. is unique to the Tornado with the dual snorkel with the dual snorkel yes let's uh, fire it up shall we what is what is this box right here that's an air canister because everything, the headlights, the climate control, everything is vacuum actuated. Okay. So this is a vacuum canister to Got store it. vacuum so that things would work when the car isn't running or when you're low on vacuum idling. So it stores vacuum to operate all the controls. Got it. Okay, that reminds me. We'll start it up. I'll stand in the back. We'll listen to it idle. And then we'll actually open up the headlights and watch some of that vacuum work accordingly. Notice the exhaust goes up and over there. I was noticing the exhaust goes up and over. Very smooth, right? Yeah. Let me have you, uh, let me listen to it idle for a second. The dual exhaust came standard with the car? Dual exhaust, it's got a uh, transverse single muffler side to side, and then uh, factory has resonators. I don't have the resonators, but it is a, a side to side oh, yeah. exhaust. I wouldn't have noticed that. It's got a nice rumble. Go ahead, give it a little rev. Some nice 
Souls will reveal power there. Can you step on the brake lights? 67 GM think just for grins, throw it in reverse for a second. There's your reverse lights. All right, we'll put it back in park. While we have it running, let's, uh, I'm assuming the vacuum needs to be on for it to open the headlights. Well, let's shut the, the hood. I just want to get the style of that. Thanks, Kevin. That's how that hood sounded back there, right? Bang! Ooh. Yeah. Let's have you shut those headlights. Definitely vacuum, as you can yeah. see. There you go. I have a little flavor to them. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's shut the engine down. We'll continue to take our tour. So we'll get that side view. That has a nice profile. Just like that. It is about a 25 year old uh, restoration, so it's, hel <laughs> Which it's, really looks it's held good. up well, yeah. but it's not perfect. Tell me about these chrome rims. Chrome rims were that was an option, option wasn't it? Yeah. on the car, and um, notice we have drum brakes back there. Too. Drum brakes back then they are vented, you know, finned and, and vented, and they did have disc brakes available, but it was very very rare. Yeah. Um, and so this is a turn marker a light. Turn light side uh, side illumination. Because sixty eight would have had your marker light. And 67, it was your turn. Correct. Right. That yeah. was on the deluxe model as opposed to the standard. So this is an option. It's the deluxe model. They had a standard and a deluxe. And yes, that is an option on the deluxe to have the side cornering lights. So is, is it a Toronado deluxe? Yes. And does that give you this trim down here as well? Uh, no, all the Tornados had that. What the deluxe got, if we get to the interior part of it, and as you know, the Deluxe came with a Strato bench seat, which was the two bucket style in a bench seat, yeah. as opposed to the standard had a flat bench seat. The other um, big thing I would say is the Deluxe uh, 99 came with a tilt telescopic steering wheel. Let's, so we'll let's, show you that yeah, when we get to that let's, side. Let's do that. You've got a nice, let's show the back and we'll open the trunk. Now understand we are at a car show. so. We have limited or no trunk and treats. You also have this venting here. And um, you've got a little story with this with this license plate. Well, for those of you old enough to remember when the banks, the state banks, would uh, would issue their own plate at the counter. And my growing up in Antioch, Illinois, SA was State Bank of Antioch. <laughs> so when I saw that plate at a swap meet, it's like, oh, I know the background <laughs> on that plate. And again, for those of you outside of Illinois, Illinois legally, you can run a 1967 plate legally. You keep your antique plate in the car. Isn't so it is legal good? to run a correct plate. Late. Yeah, now we don't have the spare tire in there right now. He does have the spare tire, but man, that is a big, listen, you can hear a little echo from me in there. And it's not a big wide trunk for a car, much more of a sport version, but we'll uh, we'll close that. May I open it? Yes. Thank you. Now the one thing I remember about the Tornado is you had some massive doors. Well, unique to the Tornado also is the rear door opener so that if you're in the back seat, you can get out of the back seat. You can open the door. It's it's Except two ends. And two ends. The Tornado, you got a lot going on here. You've got a padded piece, you've got carpet on the bottom, reflectors, as well as this nice cushy feel here. The word Tornado and this nice little instrument pad. Okay, so we got this tray here. And I also notice that you have that's an, a piece there. Your pedals, notice you have no hump. 
which is very cozy on the inside. Speaking of cozy, take a look at your bench seat with this nice velour feel. We'll be feeling that as we, you can see the lights there, your hood liner. Before I go all the way to the hood liner, notice your holes will be a rocket. I'll give you the instrumentation here. You have a tilted wheel that you can see. The Oldsmobile rocket there. Notice this piece here has this kind of indentation to it. And this chair comes up here. So Kevin, tell me about the difference in the instrumentation of the deluxe model versus okay. the regular one. Um, the options here, this is the standard air conditioning. They did have a, a uh, climate control that you would just set the wheel to your temperature and it would just automatically turn on heat or air conditioning or, or as needed. Okay. So this is the standard uh, heating uh, situation and then your little toggles for the wipers and everything and then uh, you know gauges were the standard back at the time and uh, the courtesy lights key so forth all the standard stuff again as you mentioned the dual dual dash pads to level on that um, Kind of laughed at my wife this morning. No cup holders, but cigarette lighters everywhere. Yeah. No problem smoking <laughs> kind of a in this 60s one. Sixties thing. Yeah. So the the deluxe model had a nicer interior yeah. with these seats, this tilt wheel. It looks like you have a day night mirror there. Really nice and lots of room with that no hump in there. Yes. Looks great. Well. uh why did well, you get... do you want to see the uh, telescopic? Sure. If you, if well, you step out, I can just yeah, right please. here. No, the, show me. The telescopic, so oh, it yeah. has the standard tilt, okay. but then it also has a telescopic. Oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. it goes in and out, which, um, very you cool. know, was very, very forward thinking at that time. Yeah. So all this guy had to do was smoke the tires and the front wheels in 16, and this is the result. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then as engineering and just the whole intrigue with the design and engineering and um, just never lost interest in them. Let's, let's take this one for a ride. I love it. Kevin and I are taking a ride at this car show, and I want to show you this ribbon speedometer. So the faster you go, the ribbon rolls and shares with you what speed you're at which is pretty cool so being that you've had this car this long what's the reaction when you're driving this what are people it's interesting everybody goes oh wow I remember my grandpa had one or I remember <laughs> one when I was a kid uh, and and I kind of laugh everybody's I don't really want one but I remember them and they were cool <laughs> you know so they, they, they don't want one I just want to show people exactly, kind of our, exactly. our drive here um, so just just a lot of interest in and the whole concept of I haven't seen one in forever well so. it's a, it's such a unique car and that's what kind of makes it you know makes it exciting is um, you know, back to what you just said, it was such a unique concept and design at the time, it seemed almost foreign. Wait a minute, what, what do you mean front wheel drive on, a, on front, a General Motors car? Go ahead. In the mid 60s, you know, just the engineering that was in this and how they pulled it together and they're, they're, they're bulletproof and those that know front wheel drive, even for a high powered car, there's no torque steer, there's no weirdness to driving it. It just runs nice. So, so you, when you're when it's winter time and you you know obviously it'll pull right through any snow but when you're making the corner it doesn't slide forward into things? No. No. Really? The, uh, the, the trick on these I talked to the guy I got it from who bought it new yeah. and he told me about road trips and snow and and everybody I talked to with these, the trick is if you get into trouble in snow, hit the gas and turn. It'll pull the car through. Just the heaviness of the engine will just pull it yep. all the way through. Yep. So if you're driving it, it's going to go there. So and 
the back end doesn't fishtail, nothing bad no, happens. No, it, it's just dragging it along, right? right. All, the, all the weights in the front, all the powers in the front. Right. Well, we're going to keep cruising this car and having a good time with it for sure. Kevin, what a fun time. Thanks so much for at a car show, jumping in with me and videoing your car. Thanks so much for being on my car store. Well, thank you for your interest.